this is an interesting image, but we can make it even more intriguing by doing some adjustments and adding some dust overlays. So firstly, let's add a levels adjustment to bring down the blacks to make the overall image a little bit darker. Next, let's create a beam of light coming through the window. So select your pen tool and let's create a shape from the window to the left side of the woman. Let's fill this in with white. Next, let's change the blend mode to soft light. And now, let's add a Gaussian blur. And really crank it up until it blends with the environment, around 45. Let's also bring down the opacity a little bit to around 80. Let's now bring in our dust overlay and bring it down to the same width as the shaft of light we just created. Let's rotate it and put it into place. Now let's change the blend mode to screen. Now let's duplicate this layer by hitting Command J and position it a bit over. Next we'll select both these layers and hit Command G to group them. Now let's add a mask so that we can paint out unwanted areas. Select your brush tool and make sure that your foreground color is set to black. And just paint out the areas that you don't want the dust to show. Simple as that. Let's have a quick look at the before and after. For this winter image, let's bring in some dust to make it look like it's snowing. And finally, let's bring in a dust overlay to give this image a bit more character. Again, change the blend mode to screen. And now let's add a HSL adjustment layer. And then we'll drag that layer into the dust layer so it only affects the dust. Now let's increase the saturation and find a color combination that looks interesting.